Hello everybody, what's going on and welcome back to the My Player Career Mode. I hope you're all doing fantastic today. The race for the top two heats up. Us, Brentford and Sheffield United. The three teams locked in a battle to secure that final automatic promotion spot. And at the end of today, there will only be nine games remaining. So six games coming your way, starting with Bristol City right here and we were in front after a matter of seven minutes. A nice move on the edge of their area. Tribal and myself combined with a 1-2. Fell down in the box, but we still had time to get our shot off and find the back of the net. So, one the up. Feeling pretty confident about how things were going here until a Tim Krull highlight reel as he made a couple of saves in the first half to keep us in front. This one was really good. The right hand, the reaction save. I don't know how he pulled it off, but he did. And then somehow this happened. Andy Vyman got his way through. Um, and it was just a long ball up the field of play that worked out. And Krull again had to make the save. Now, unfortunately... Um, he couldn't quite do it a third time as Vyman does well on the edge of the area, a couple of step overs, gets himself into the penalty area and uh, he then finds the finish. So Norwich won, Bristol City won and you could kind of say that goal was coming from the chances they had at the, uh, the back end of the first half, cruel saving us but not quite a third time. Into the second half I was looking for a reaction to try and get back in front here, we should have had our second goal turning in the penalty area before finding... The finesse shot towards the bottom corner, denied by the woodwork, and we had one more opportunity as well. I don't know what it was. We just kept finding chances in the game. We had three shots in total, hit the crossbar, or the post, sorry, with that second shot. Then that one, we forced the keeper into the save. But ultimately, we couldn't quite find the goal to get the three points from that game. So you could say from the chances that a 1-1 draw was probably a fair result. But we then took on Sheffield Wednesday, and again had the lead in the game. 25 minutes in this time, Timu Puki's header in off the inside of the post. And actually, Sheffield Wednesday had just taken points off of their rivals in the Sheffield derby. So that helped us in our favour. So if we could win this game here, that would be huge. And Puki went down in the penalty area. Referee pointed to the spot, but is there any point? Because as we've seen how many times in this series... Penalties are basically our kryptonite. We just don't do well against them. And uh, Puki stepped up and... Hold on a minute. That that doesn't normally happen to us. He scored. Yeah, I'm not even joking. Puki scored a penalty. Is it time to start the celebrations about getting into the Premier League just yet? Because if we're scoring penalties, then there's only one place we can take this now to get even better. And that is getting back up into the Prem. So should we just start the party right here? Because we made it 3-0 with four minutes to play. And we got the three points. And more importantly, we scored a penalty. I can't believe it. We finally have scored from the penalty spot. Curse over. That's it. We've, we've managed to, I guess, go past that now. So if we miss the next one, it's not a curse anymore. It's just a bit of a coincidence because we've actually scored one. So we can't complain about missing penalties from this point forward. Our final post-con match, though, came against QPR. And this was one of the most dull games of football I have seen in the championship this season. They sat back. They tried to stop us. We attempted to try and break them down. We had three chances to do that. Ultimately, did not do it. So a nil-nil draw to carry us in to the live portion of today. And we'll have to wait and see what is in store for us in just a few moments. Enjoy it, guys. We've got a pretty difficult run-in coming up for us as we take on West Brom next. But after that, we've got Middlesbrough and Hull City. So I believe that's two teams in the top six we've got coming up. Yeah, Middlesbrough and West Brom. And I don't think Hull... Oh, actually, they are. Hull are not doing so well this season. They're down in last place in 24th. I thought they'd be doing better than that, but... Yeah, apparently not. But yeah, for us, West Brom and Middlesbrough, two very tricky games. And they could, in theory, end the potential of us maybe creeping into that top two. As you can see, five points to the gap. Sheffield United currently do hold it. Brentford are the team closest. And then we are slightly behind that. But so far, I'd say it's anybody's game. And we have now 12 games to play. So, of course, we now go to the Hawthorns. We'll see what result we get against West Brom. Hernandez needs to play the ball first time and does. There's nobody in the box yet for us to aim at, though. Now we will get a couple of bodies in there. There's the cross by Diaz. Header is into the hands of John Stone. And uh, West Brom concede the first chance of the match. Remember, though, they are also in their own little battle, the, t uh, the battle for the top six. So they will want to win this game as much as we will. And uh, the first chance of the game came our way. Simple save, though, for John Stone in the end. Kieran Gibbs not quite quick enough to keep pace with us as we find Buendia. He's hit the post and he's back out and it's no Norwich player there to tap it home. 
thought Timu Puki might be in that sort of position, just waiting for the ball to bounce back, but he wasn't on this occasion. So far, we are looking the more likely corner ball. Now, I've not really done too well with the corners as of late, so I need a better delivery here. Can we find somebody in that box? The delivery's there! Sam Byron meets it! And he can't have been too far away. I mean, it's a glancing header. It's not an easy header at all, and he isn't too far away. <sighs> Some good chances for Norwich. I mentioned this last time out as well. The fact that we do create the chances is a real positive, but we're just not quite clinical enough when it matters. You know, and that they're the chances that we talk about being clinical in. Now we've had three. One straight at Johnston, the other one hit the post, and now Byron said it just over the crossbar. Some half-time scores for you. As it stands, Sheffield United are drawing one apiece and Brentford are 1-0 down to Fulham. So if we can get a goal in this game, we might be able to claw some points back here in this top two fights. As we're looking for a way through, couldn't quite find the cutback. And the second half is Norwich in possession early on, but we've lost out here. So it's good news elsewhere in the games going our favour. Question is, can we find that goal here to maybe get ourselves in front? We've got a corner ball to try and do just that which will be taken by Buendia. Need a good delivery here. The first corner we sent in, Byron met it. And that's a poor delivery. So I'll just stop talking, shall I? Because that was awful. Tribal towards Hernandez. Now Puki. Puki off to myself. Elsewhere, Fulham 2, Brentford 0. That is now 2-0 to Fulham. So it looks like Brentford will drop points. Now Tribal. It's 2-2 between Sheffield United and uh, Sunderland as well. No, Hagazi's there. Five minutes left. I thought that might just be the chance for us to get this goal. Herbera in towards our feet. Puki is the furthest man forward for Norwich. But there's a lot of West Brom bodies inside their penalty area. Puki here trying to work an opportunity. Hagazi will clear it away. Been very, very disappointed with West Brom coming forward here. Especially at home. They've not really offered too much. But they've defended. It feels like the QPR game all over again. Last minute now. We need to use this ball effectively. Sanchez. In towards our feet. Puki's gone off. The substitute for Norwich is Dermich. Sanchez, quick one, two, gets us in! And it's the goal we were looking for! Last few seconds and we've won it! West Brom nil, Norwich won! Apologies to headphone users, but that is a massive goal in our quest for the top two. Basically, because the other teams around us are dropping points. As I mentioned, Brentford 2 0 down to Fulham. In the other game, unless there's been a goal that I haven't seen with Sheffield United. Am, am I the captain here? I swear I've got the captain's armband on. That's the first time I've seen that. Unless I've missed a goal between Sunderland and Sheffield United, that's 2-2. So picking up three points here is huge. And that might be the goal that's just done it. If we concede with, like, what, 30 seconds left? Then we don't deserve to get in the top two. As I mentioned, West Brom being very underwhelming here. But we've got the job done. And that is what matters. Get in! It's time now then for the visit of Middlesbrough taking us on at Carrow Road. I've got goal updates switched on for the Sheffield United game. Uh, Brentford are not playing on the same day. They may have already played or are playing after. Haven't checked the table. But I can confirm that those results that I mentioned to you were how it ended. In fact, I think Brentford did get a goal back. But it still ended 2-1 to Fulham. And uh, Sunderland drew 2-2 with Sheffield United. So... As it stands, we're three points behind second, and we've climbed ourselves above Brentford into third. So it's still all to play for. Let's head into this one. Like we've come to expect as well from so many games as we misplaced a pass that was actually meant for Puki. Uh, all of Middlesbrough's men, barring their striker, sat behind the ball. That happens fairly often whenever we are playing at home. As uh, we tried an over-the-top ball to open them up. Wittek, back heels, into my feet. Just wanted to get it on the left foot. I didn't quite... Have enough confidence to take it on with the right. But like I mentioned, man, Middlesbrough just sitting deep behind the ball with one striker as their out ball. Can sense that this is going to be a game where we just try to break them down on the edge of the penalty area for large parts of it. Half an hour in here, no chance yet to show you as again we look to break them down. Tribal, Hernandez, Tribal, shot comes in. Randolph makes the save. Wittek cuts out Middlesbrough's attempted pass. With a minute to play until half-time, is there a chance in this first half? Buendia's ball to Puki, who forces Randolph into the fast reaction save. And actually, I take it back, Middlesbrough have sort of ventured forward a little bit more as the uh, first half have gone on. They haven't just sat behind the ball like they were showing us in the first sort of half hour. They've 
kind of come out a little bit more as the first half has progressed. We win the header back in, but it's uh, going to be cleared away here by Middlesbrough. And that is half time. Nil nil at the break. Two chances, both of them coming to us. Neither one really that clear cut though. So uh, we're going to have to work on that for the second half. And I don't know what the scores are going on elsewhere. Quite fortunate to still get the ball here. Hernandez! There's the breakthrough. Norwich 1, Middlesbrough 0. Just under half an hour left to play here. And it's important that we got that goal because elsewhere, Sheffield United are 2-0 up in their game against Wigan. I said I'd give you that half-time score. That is the score at half-time. Could have even been now 3-0 to them. I don't know. I haven't seen a goal update. But finally, the breakthrough is there. Hernandez has got it. I gave Middlesbrough a lot of credit for uh, saying that they'd actually ventured forward towards the back end of the first half. We've come back out for the second, and they're back to their old ways of sitting behind the ball. So it's, uh, it's a good sign for us to get the goal there. It means they can't do it anymore if they want something out of the game, which might work in our favour, might not. We'll have to wait and see. Here's a Samba Longa. He's hit the post. Middlesbrough, rare chance. They're still going to get another one. Tim Krull with a save. And we are the makers of our own problems back there because that came from a Norwich poor pass in the centre of our box after a Samba Longa hit the post. Nah, like, we've done the hard work getting in front. Don't throw this away now. Added time then as we end this one off with Sanchez down the right wing. Cuts it back to Byron. Byron inside. There is full time. Do you know what? These wins aren't pretty, but they're wins. And that's what's mattering. If it means the difference between finishing playoffs and top two and it's us winning games even though they're not pretty wins, you know, 2-0, 3-0, 4-0s, then so be it. You know what I mean? Hernandez, his goal enough for the three points, back-to-back 1-0 wins. But, um, yeah, these are hard fought, man. We've got Hull up next, their bottom. I'd like to think we'll get the job done, but that's the type of game where we would normally slip up. So, for our final game of the day, let's go and play Hull City. Hull City have won three of their 35 games this season. Surely, surely they won't beat us here for their fourth win. I said it. These are the games where usually we would slip up to the teams you'd expect us to beat. But three wins out of 35. Surely not, right? Herbera finds Buendia. Buendia will find Byram. Back to Buendia. Nice football by Norwich. The first time we've really seen it in the game. Now Puki's in. Timo Puki will lay it back towards us. First time shorts. Norwich in front here, just as Sheffield United have also gone in front as well. Their goal coming minutes before this one. Hull being the better team so far in this first half as the game's got underway. But in terms of chances, there wasn't really lots to show you. And this has been the best moment of the match. And thankfully, it's come our way. Puki just lays it back. There might have been a touch actually off the goalkeeper there. I feel like he made a little bit of contact with the ball. Does he actually? Because he maybe should have saved this. Yeah, it was straight at him. Well, actually... For a second, it looks like the ball is just span in midair crazily. But I do think there was actually a touch, but you just didn't quite see it there. I don't know. I don't care, honestly. The ball's in the net. That's all I care about. 1-0 Norwich. And like I said, with uh, our rivals going in front elsewhere, we needed that goal. Dermic! What a finish that is! I wasn't commentating because I didn't expect him to turn this into the goal. We fizzed the pass into his feet. And he's hit it first time. And that's maybe what the caught the keeper off guard. Look at this from Dermic. All I did was fizz the ball into his feet. Thinking I'll, I'll continue my run and ask for the ball back. But no, he had other ideas. And that was to hit the shot. First time right footed. Catches it so sweetly actually. And I think it is the fact that he's took it nice and early that's beaten the goalkeeper. Hull City nil, Norwich 2. And we have scored from our only two chances. I said about being clinical before, and now we have been today. Full time from the KCOM Stadium, Norwich 2, Hall City 0. The slip up has been avoided. There was a goal as well in the game involving Sheffield United. Uh, Birmingham pulled one back. I don't know if they managed to get another one because Sheffield United were two up. That went to 2 1. So if they did get an equalising goal, we might have clawed some more points back. We'll check that out and we'll take a look at the table as we end off the day up next. And here is that table then, nine games to play. We sit third, 79 points. 82 is uh, the points of second place, Sheffield United. Three points behind them, one point ahead of Brentford. It really is a three horse race here for this second spot of automatic promotion. Villa way too far out in front. They're 20 ahead of second. That's, that's incredible. They're having such a good season. 
But it's, uh, it's looking like this is going to go right down to the wire. I'm excited to see just how close this will be come the end of the season. I don't know what the running is like for each of the clubs involved. I feel like I, uh, we still have to play Villa, right? I'm pretty sure we do. Do we still have to play Aston Villa? Let me quickly check that before we go. We've got Fulham coming up. That's going to be a difficult game. Leeds as well, difficult game. Uh, do we play Villa? Or Yeah, we do in May. So we do have some very tough games coming up for us. So if we want to get into automatic promotion, we're going to have to earn it. And I feel like that is something that we will do. So until next time, a massive thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated. I know how much you guys love the My Player Career Mode. That is why I'll try to get it out daily for you over the next few days to keep the content coming. We're up to 86 rated, worth something like 55 million or something now. So if we don't get Premier League football with Norwich, then uh, we might have to look elsewhere. So yeah, it's imperative that we do. Until next time, if you are new around here and like what you see, hit that subscribe button below. Have a great day, have a great evening, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Adios.